Canva is one of the tools I use on a daily basis. And it is an amazing tool to learn as a virtual assistant because it will allow you to create amazing graphics in different categories without being an expert in graphic design. In this video, I am going to teach you how to start using Canva as a complete beginner. Even if you have never often Canva before, this video is going to be easy enough for you to follow along. I am going to share my screen and show you how to create social media graphics, logo, website banner, player, poster, and a lot of other categories. And by the end of this video, you will have the foundation knowledge you need to start offering graphic design services to clients. Now, before we start, Canva has a pro version, but you can start using Canva for free with a free account. With a free account on Canva, there are going to be some limitations, but if you want to use all their features, you can sign up for a seven day free trial and you can test out how all their features work. And if you work for a client, if you work for a dedicated client as a virtual assistant, a lot of times the client is going to have a team account on Canva that they can simply add you to their account so you won't even have to pay for it. Okay, without any delay, let's jump to my computer and we can get started. Okay, right now I am in a homepage of Canva and in order to access this page, all you need to do is type Canva.com. Right here in your browser, you type Canva.com and you will be on this page. If you don't have an account in Canva, you are going to land on a page that is going to have an option to sign up. So you can easily follow along and sign up for an account for a free account on Canva. And when you finish creating your account, you will be on this page and then we can get started. I'm going to give you a quick overview of this homepage of Canva so that it will be easy for you to navigate it. First, you have this search bar right here at the top. And this is where you are going to search for any template if you want to start working on template. And right here from this left sidebar, we have some icons. The first one is home. When you click on it, you will be on the home page right here, this page. And the next one is project. When you click on it, you are going to be able to see all the projects you have worked on. If you create some graphics, you are going to see all the graphics here on the project tab. If you come to the template tab, you are going to see all the template in Canva and brand. This is where you are going to set all your brand information. And this is only available in the pro version. So if we come back to the homepage, this is where we are going to get started with all our designs. And right here, it says create a design. If you click on create a design, you are going to have some options. You see, we have some templates, premium template. And you can search for a template using the sidebar and you can choose a type of template. If you want to create a document, you can choose this one, whiteboard, presentation, social media, videos, website, and a custom size, depending on what you want to start working on. And same thing right here. If you scroll, you are going to see all the projects that you have worked on. And this is the general overview of the homepage of Canva. Now let us start with creating a social media graphic. If you want to create a graphic that you are going to post on Instagram, the easiest way to start is to start by using a template. And you can start using a template by coming to the search bar here. You click on it and you search for the type of templates that you are looking for. In this case, we are looking for Instagram post template. So I am going to type Instagram post template. Okay, when I search for Instagram post, I can simply click enter and I can see all the templates that are relevant to Instagram post. Okay, these are all the search results that are relevant to Instagram post. You see, we have Canva template. That means all the items that appear in the search are going to be template from Canva, not templates that we created. And you can use filters right here to even customize your search. And when you click filters, you see, we can choose to see business template, social media, education, video, and we can scroll to choose a format and all the other things we can do. But in order to make things simple, we are not going to use filters. We are simply going to review the template and we can find one that is close to what we are looking for. And then we can start customizing it. When you start scrolling through the template, if you see any template with this crown and pro, it means the template is part of Canva Pro. 
you have to pay for Canva Pro in order to have access to the template. But if you sign up for a free trial, you will have access to everything. And the template that doesn't have this pro badge like this one, you can use them entirely for free with a pre account. Okay, we are looking for we are looking to create Instagram post. And let's say we are going to create a motivational post in Instagram for our client. So we can scroll. Okay, this one looks nice. And it looks like a template that has some code. And we can change it the code and make it our own so all you need to do is click on the template and this pop-up will appear and the next thing is you can click customize this template in order to make this template our own and we can click this button okay and this is the canva 82 this is the edit page on canva this is where you are going to spend most of your time when you are designing graphics on canva and we can make all the changes we want to this graphic we can double click on any text when you click on it you see the text is selected you can change the size of the text from this top bar you see it says 34 which is font size when you hover over it you see it says font size you can increase by clicking this plus icon or you can decrease the size by clicking the minus and you can change the font you can even use magic right which is an ai powered option you can change the text color. You can turn it from bold to normal. If you click here, you see it is not bold anymore. If you click it again, the text is bold. If you click this, the text is going to be italic. What I will suggest you do is you spend some time trying out all the icons, all the features here in this top bar, and you will have a better understanding on what every icon do. And you will have a better idea on how to customize your text. And in case you want to increase the size of the text, you can increase it from here or you can drag this dot, this corner dot, you can drag it to increase the size of almost anything on the page. If you click and drag, you see we increase the size. You can drag it back to normal. And if you want to undo the change you made, you can click Ctrl Z and all the changes you made are going to be back to normal. And same thing with this box with this quotation box when you click on it you can make all the changes you want from the top bar right here and you can increase or decrease the size by clicking and dragging on this dot right here if you click ctrl z it will come back to normal you can change the color of it by clicking here and you choose your color right here or you can add a color by adding the color code right here from this bar so this is how you can make changes to most of the templates most of the items on any template you are working on you can even change the background image right now we have this pencil as our background image if you click on it you can simply click delete and it will be gone and you can replace it with another background image or you can even replace it with a background color right here if we click ctrl z it will come back to how it was if you want to add a text on this template you can do that by coming to this left sidebar this left sidebar is how you are going to add items to your page and when you click an item on your page the top side the top bar is where you are going to make changes to the item so this is how it works if you want to upload an image you can do it from here where it say upload and you can upload all your images you can add a text right here you can add some elements and if you scroll down here you can find stock images stock images that you can use on your template and if you come to video you can find some stock videos that you can use on your template and if you come to the design right here you are going to see a lot more template that you can add to your design and if you want to add another design to your template, you can simply click add page. When you click add page, then you can scroll or you can search. You can do a search for motivational quote. And you can see template that are related to motivational quote. You see all this template. You can simply, any template that you like, you can simply click on it and it will be added to the page that you are currently on. And you can go ahead and make all the changes that you want on your template 
the next thing is you might want to change you might want to learn how to change background image right here we have this light background image if you delete it you click on it and you click delete it is going to disappear if you want to replace it with another background image we can come to the photos tab and we can search for white background and you see we have a lot of white backgrounds that are stock images that you can easily use and the same thing i told you previously any item that has this pro it means it's part of a pro version of canva so you have to have the pro version in order to use it but the ones that doesn't have that pro badge you can use them entirely for free with your free account let's say i want to use this light one as the background image when i click on it you see it is on the graphic right here all i need to do is right click on it and come to the button where it said set image as background when you click on it now that image is your background image so that is how you add a template to a page make changes to any element on the page and that is also how you can add designs let's say you want to add an image to this template right here and if i click on this text i drag it so it is in this side right here and i'm going to reduce the size and i want to add a picture right here and i want to upload the picture let's say you want to upload a picture of your client and the quote about something that they say you can have their name right here and when i come to the top to the upload section and i found this image i click on it as soon as you click on it it will be on the page and you can drag the image to position it where you want and if i want to remove the background of this image all i need to do is click this bg remover it is going to remove the background when i click on it i just need to give it a minute okay you can see with one click i remove the background of the image and i can drag it and put it in the position where i want the image to be and i am good to go so this is how you can find a template and create nice social media graphics using template and all you need to do is spend some time practicing what i just showed you and by time you are going to be good at navigating the editing page you are going to be good at knowing how to change everything and how to do anything you want with a template next let's see how you can create a logo and if you want to create a logo the process is almost the same i can close this tab and we can come back to the home page we click this x icon and we click the home so that we come back to the home tab and all i need to do if i want to create a logo is search for logo the same is the same thing we did previously so i'm simply going to search for logo right here and click enter okay you see these are all logo templates that you can customize and make your own and make it your own or make it for your client all you need to do is scroll and find one that is close to what your client is looking for let's say i like this one and i want to customize it all i need to do is click on it and the pop-up will appear and to customize this template and make it our own you can simply click customize this template okay when the editor often the next thing you can do is you can start editing your logo you can click anything you want and you can double click a text to rewrite it you can drag items to reorder them you can find items from this sidebar and add to your template you can change color from this top bar right here and you can make this logo any way you want it you see we have four versions of this logo so you can go through the pages go through the pages and you can find the one you like and you can customize edit and make it as nice as you can if you finish editing your logo you can simply or any design if you finish editing your design you can come to the top here where it says share you click share and then click download and you can choose a format if you are exporting an image then png might be good if you want to export the design in a transparent background you can click this one and you can choose a page right here since this design has four pages you can choose a page that you want to export if you want to export all pages then you can simply select all pages and you click done and as soon as you click download 
the design that you choose is going to be downloaded to your computer. So this is how you can create also a logo in Canva. And the same process that I just showed you is how you can create any type of graphic in Canva. So you see, it's very easy to create graphics in Canva. All you need is spend some time practicing, learning how to create a different type of graphics. And if you spend enough time into learning, within just a few days, you can have enough skills to start offering to client. And the next thing you shall do is you shall create some nice graphics and include them in your portfolio. And if you don't have a portfolio yet, you can watch this next video to learn how to create the best portfolio, the best virtual assistant portfolio in Canva. If you find the video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.